A section box in Revit is a 3D wireframe box that exists in a 3D view. Each of the faces of the wireframe box acts as a cutting plane. Now you can adjust the position of each face using the grips so you can determine exactly where that cut happens. So by manipulating each face you can very easily create cutaway views of your model. This is a great visual tool for helping to better explain your design. Uh, quite often a little cutaway like this can more easily explain the nature of the space and maybe how the service is integrated far easier than looking at flat plans and sections. So in this unit I'm going to show you exactly how to set up these type of views. Before we start, please note that section boxes can only be used with 3D views, i.e. the sort of isometric or axonometric views. They cannot be applied to perspective, i.e. camera views. So the sort of 3D views we've got here, the default 3D view, that can be used with a section box, but your camera views cannot. So make sure you've got a 3D view active. I'm going to work with the default 3D view here. And with no object selected, you will have the properties of the view itself presented in the properties palette. And if you look down about halfway down in the properties palette for the parameters for the, the 3D view itself, you will see a parameter there, section box, a simple tick box ticket and the wireframe section box will appear. Once you can see the wireframe box all you need to do now is click on the wireframe itself. Now you've got six faces, one on each side of the box and each face has a pair of grips. You can see the little blue triangles there. Those are the grips for each face that control where the face and consequently the cutting plane is. So you just need to hover over very carefully with your cursor until the grips highlight. Left click and hold and drag. Now I will warn you this can be very fiddly because no matter how much you zoom in those grips do not get any bigger and quite often if you're not careful you'll accidentally pick a part of your model instead of the grips themselves. So, so highlight the box, just be very careful, wait until they highlight in a bolder blue and then you can change the cutting plane to suit. Once you're happy with your cutaway view you may wish to hide the display of the bounding box itself, the wireframe box. I think that can look a little bit messy on your drawings, a little bit confusing. So we can actually turn off the visibility of the wireframe box while still having the effect of the cutting planes. To do so, we need to go into the visibility and graphics override section. Now, we haven't actually covered that in the course yet. That's in a later unit. Um, so you may want to sort of jump to that unit, take a look at that and then come back. But I'll show you exactly what you need to change in those settings to, let's say, get rid of the, the box for now. So if I go to visibility and graphics, I can either press that button or I can use the keyboard shortcut VG or VV. It all gets to the same place, which is this panel here. This is where we control on a view by view basis the display of our various categories of objects. Now we need to go to the second tab along annotation categories and say don't worry about how all this works I've got a dedicated unit on visibility and graphics overrides but for the purpose of this uh, unit just be aware you need to go to annotation categories you need to look towards the bottom of the list right down till you find section boxes and you need to uncheck that entry there, that category. So what we're doing by doing this is saying to Revit we do not wish to display the section box boundary in this particular view. So I'll turn off that checkbox, 
hit OK. So we're left with the effect of the section box, i.e. The, the cutting planes are active, but we can't see the wireframe box. So the view itself looks neater and it's ready to be placed onto a sheet. The final step I recommend you take with regards to the use of section boxes is to actually lock the orientation of your 3D view once you're happy with it. Um, I'll explain the reason for that now. So as we've just seen, we've activated a section box, we've adjusted the cutting planes, we've turned off the visibility of the wireframe, we're happy with that, we've put it onto a sheet. What we don't want is to come along the next day either ourselves or somebody else opening our project and accidentally adjust this. We might have taken a, a long time considering how that's best orientated so we can see all the spaces correctly only to have it accidentally messed up. We can actually lock this view in place so it can't be adjusted. So all you need to do is when you are happy with the orientation look down on the view specific controls at the bottom of the view the view control bar and about halfway along you'll see a house icon with a padlock this tool here enables us to lock the view so at the moment it's reporting it's an unlocked 3d view click on it save orientation and lock the view click on that now you'll recall from the unit on default 3d views that Revit reserves the name 3d in curly brackets Hence, now we want to save this view and its orientation. It's asking us to rename this to give it a unique name that's different than the, from the default one. So, view, cutaway, zero, 01. Hit OK. Let's save that in the 3D views group. And it means that if I select the orbit tool, I can no longer pivot or orbit that view so it's now locked place it onto a sheet knowing that it can't accidentally be messed up and that completes this unit to get the most out of this training material please take the complete course online at bimscape.com here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.